are singing along with you and it becomes this really beautiful communal moment. Dave Grohl is a name that resonates with rock fans around the world. Whether you're a fan of Nirvana, Foo Fighters, Queens of the Stone Age, or any other iconic band, chances are you've heard Grohl's unmistakable vocals and powerful drumming. Is he just another rock star with a big ego and bad attitude, or is there more to the man behind the music? In this video, we take a closer look at his career, lifestyle and how he enjoys his achievements and try to answer the question, who is Dave Grohl? Please remember to hit the like button, as it does help us out a lot. Additionally, comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. Early Life Dave Grohl is an American musician born on January 14, 1969 in Warren, Ohio and raised in Springfield, Virginia. His parents, James and Virginia Grohl, divorced when he was six years old and he was raised by his mother. From an early age, Dave was fond of music, especially rock and roll. As a child, Dave Grohl showed an aptitude for music. He started playing guitar at the age of five and soon performed in local talent shows. At the age of 12, he started learning to play the drums and quickly became proficient. He also played in his school's marching band and jazz ensemble. His parents divorced, which affected him deeply. He became withdrawn and turned to music as an outlet for his emotions. He started listening to punk rock and heavy metal bands, which he found very interesting. In high school, Dave played in several local bands, including Freak Baby, Mission Impossible, and Dane Bramage. He was also a member of the school's jazz band, where he played the drums. After graduating from high school in 1987, Dave enrolled in a community college but dropped out after just one semester to pursue music full-time. Career Dave Grohl is best known as the drummer of the legendary grunge band Nirvana and the founder and frontman of the rock band Foo Fighters. However, his musical journey started much earlier. In the mid-1980s, Grohl began his music career as the drummer for the Washington, D.C.-based hardcore punk band Scream. He recorded two albums with them before joining Nirvana in 1990 as their new drummer. Grohl's powerful drumming and his ability to write catchy songs quickly earned him a reputation as one of the most talented drummers in the music industry. With Nirvana, Grohl recorded three studio albums, Nevermind 1991, In Utero 1993, and MTV Unplugged in New York 1994. The band's massive success and influence on the alternative rock movement of the early 1990s made Grohl a household name. However, Nirvana's success was cut short with the death of their lead singer, Kurt Cobain, in 1994. Following Cobain's death, Grohl was unsure about his future in music. However, he eventually decided to pursue a solo career and recorded a collection of songs under the name Foo Fighters, named after the term used by Allied aircraft pilots to describe UFOs during World War II. Grohl played all the instruments on the album and released it in 1995 to critical and commercial success. The self-titled album featured hit singles like This Is A Call, Big Me, and Ill Stick Around. The success of the album encouraged Grohl to form a band with Nate Mendel on bass, William Goldsmith on drums, and Pat Smear on guitar. The new lineup released their second album, The Color and the Shape, in 1997. The album featured hit singles like Monkey Wrench, Everlong, and My Hero and solidified Foo Fighters' place in the music industry. However, tension between Grohl and Goldsmith led to the latter's departure from the band, with Taylor Hawkins taking over as the drummer. Over the next two decades, Foo Fighters released several successful albums, including There Is Nothing Left to Lose 1999, 1x1 2002, Echoes, Silence, Patience and Grace 2007, and Wasting Light 2011. They also won multiple Grammy Awards and became one of the most successful rock bands of all time. In addition to his work with Nirvana and Foo Fighters, Grohl has also collaborated with several other artists and bands, including Queens of the Stone Age, Them Crooked Vultures, and Paul McCartney. 
Aside from music, Grohl has also directed several documentaries, including Sound City 2013 and Sonic Highways 2014, both of which explore the history and culture of American music. Foo Fighters have also released a number of albums recently and are highly rated. The song Run from the album Concrete and Gold won Best Rock Song at the 2018 Grammys. Medicine at Midnight won Best Rock Album. Best Song with Waiting for a War and Best Rock Performance with Making a Fire in 2022. Awards In addition to his musical contributions, Grohl is also recognized for his talents and achievements through numerous awards and nominations. In 1996, Grohl and his band Foo Fighters won their first Grammy Award for Best Hard Rock Performance for the hit song All My Life. In 2009, Foo Fighters won five Grammy Awards for their album Echoes, Silence, Patience Grace for the song The Pretender. In 2013, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as a member of Nirvana. The following year, he was honored with the NME Godlike Genius Award, which recognizes individuals who have made significant contributions to the music industry. His documentary Sound City won the Audience Award at the 2013 Sundance Film Festival. In 2015, Grohl was honored with the Humanitarian Award at the Brit Awards for his work with nonprofits. He has also been inducted into the Hollywood Rock Walk and DC Hall of Fame. Personal Life In 1994, Grohl married Jennifer Youngblood, a photographer, and they had a daughter, Violet, in 2006. However, the couple announced their divorce in 1997. Grohl has been open about the challenges of maintaining a husband and wife relationship, balancing work and life as a musician and father, often taking his family on tour with him. In 2003, Grohl married Jordan Bloom, a television producer, and they have three daughters together. In 1995, while on tour with the Foo Fighters, Grohl fell off the stage and broke his leg. Despite the injury, he finished the show and continued touring with one leg in a cast. In 2015, Grohl broke his leg again during a concert in Sweden, but once again he continues to perform, with a throne-like machine designed to support him while playing the guitar. Grohl has also struggled with addiction in the past, especially during his time on Nirvana. In a 2013 interview with Rolling Stone, he discussed how he overcame his addiction and the importance of staying sober. Grohl is known for supporting liberal causes and criticizing conservative politicians. In 2004, he supported John Kerry's presidential campaign. In 2018, he criticized President Donald Trump for his response to a deadly white supremacist rally in Charlottesville, Virginia. Grohl has also been involved in various philanthropic activities throughout his career. He is a strong advocate for music education and has worked with organizations such as Little Kids Rock and the National Association of Music Traders to promote music education in schools. He has also been involved with organizations like Musy Cares, Grammy Foundation, and the Sweet Relief Musicians Fund, which provides support to struggling musicians. In 2015, Grohl and his band Foo Fighters released EP Saint Cecilia and dedicated it to the victims of the Paris terror attacks. The EP is available to download for free and includes a message from Grohl about the power of music in bringing people together. Occupational Income Dave Grohl has amassed a net worth of $330 million. As a member of Nirvana and Foo Fighters, Grohl earns substantial income from album sales, tours, merchandise, and royalties. Nirvana's Nevermind album has sold over 30 million copies worldwide. His debut album Foo Fighters, released in 1995, sold over a million copies in the US alone. Grohl has also appeared several times on television and in films throughout his career. These appearances may have added to his overall income, although specific figures are not available. Grohl has also been involved in numerous endorsement deals and business ventures. He's been a spokesperson for brands like Budweiser and has endorsed music-related products like Zildjian cymbals and Gibson guitars. In addition, 
He co-founded Sound City Studios and owns a record label called Roswell Records. How does he spend money? Outside of his family, Grohl is a music enthusiast and devotes a significant portion of his fortune to musical equipment, musical instruments and studios. He has a large collection of guitars, drums, and other instruments that he uses for his recordings and live performances. Moreover, he owns a recording studio in Los Angeles where he has recorded many of his albums and collaborated with other musicians. In addition to music, Grohl is also a motorcycle enthusiast and dedicates a significant portion of his fortune to motorcycles. He owns a Harley-Davidson FXR, which is one of Grohl's favorite motorcycles. He also has a car, a $140,000 Tesla P100D, and says it's the fastest car he's ever driven in his life. Eventually, Dave Grohl invested in real estate and owned several properties in Los Angeles, including his own home and recording studio. He also owns real estate in other parts of the United States, including Virginia and Hawaii. He has various interests and passions and uses his wealth to pursue them while giving back to society through his philanthropic endeavors. Please like and share if you find the video content interesting and useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment below. The celebrity you want to see in the upcoming video. Thank you very much.